So there's been a big movement uh, recently with people getting into gardening. And if you're thinking about it, unsure what where to start or uh, unsure you want to commit to it, or even if you already are gardening and you want to upgrade, these uh, corrugated metal raised beds that, that you can find are are the way to go there we bought ours this year and we had the best garden that we've ever had in the past we used uh wooden raised beds that that had built and they just don't last they fall apart the wood rots but some of these are designed to last more than 10 years uh some videos we followed there was a guy that had his for 20 years and they still were in good shape um so if you're thinking about it i would consider the corrugated metal raised beds. We chose to go with the the square design because I just feel like with these corners like this, it maximizes your gardening space. Uh, one one nice thing about these is they're high off the ground, and we have an issue with voles in our yard. So when I put these in the ground, I put down a metal mesh in the bottom of it. To keep the voles from getting up inside and we had no issues with this year at all with voles getting in our garden and messing with our vegetables for trellising for some of our stuff we uh we use these metal t-posts and with the pvc and we ran wood through it which is something that we, that we saw somebody else doing online and it worked really well um also on one of them we hung uh metal fencing from it and that worked really well. There are other styles of, of the corrugated metal raised beds too, like these ones. They have the rounded edges. These work these worked pretty good. Um, but it was for like a small plot. We used one for uh, cantaloupe and one for watermelon. And I used this cattle panel as a trellis to grow them vertically to keep them off the ground. Because uh, in the past we tried watermelon on the ground and it just it was horrible because you can't work around it it clutters the yard weeds grow up in it that you can't get out because you can't mow or weed eat the, the vines so this method worked really well something else we did this year is we started composting which was really helpful in reducing the amount of waste that we do in the trash all the vegetable waste that we had from the garden we could compost with composting you got to have two things nitrogen and carbon and the nitrogens are all the green green wastes like the vegetables or, or grass and the carbons are the brown wastes which would be like uh leaves that you rake up during the fall the dead leaves uh, we don't have a whole lot of trees in our yard so we don't get leaves um, but i learned that you can use cardboard not, now you don't want to use the shiny stuff, just like the um, regular brown cardboard, uh, and you can shred it up into bits, and you can put it in your compost for your browns. The cardboard acts as the carbon, and when you mix that with the nitrogens, it breaks down and turns into dirt, and then you have dirt for your next year of gardening. So, we threw quite a bit of uh, stuff in here this year. It really did not create that much compost. It's still in the process of breaking down. But you can see that I've got the uh, cardboard in there. And it it works. Uh, pizza boxes. You can't throw the pizza boxes in the trash because of the food particles on it. But you can tear it up and put it in your compost. Uh, hopefully this video has uh, been somewhat educational. And just with the way the economy is going... Things are getting expensive and growing your own food is the way to go. Not only are you saving money, but you know that your stuff is organic. You know what was put into the ground and what's been put on the plants. And we've got six people in our family. And with one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the corrugated metal plots in here, this couple of the small ones, we even used plastic bins, but they didn't work very well. They, they broke. Um, with... That amount of stuff, we had more vegetables than we could do, than we could use, and we ended up giving a lot of stuff away. So, happy gardening. I'm going to put some links down below so you can go explore some of these gardening items 
and hopefully they will uh, help you to have a successful garden.